sample of the original mortar. You can see it's been, uh, here's an actual original piece here. And then this is an example of it having been repointed, and then up here a little bit too. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll grind all the mortar out. If you look to the left, an example of the joints that have been ground out and cleaned out. And those will then be cleaned and repointed with new mortar. And this is an example of the mortar that's been installed, uh, pointed in, it has not been cleaned yet. But Very nice. To the, to the left here, this facet has been washed, clean. Okay. So you can see there's a little more uh, detail in the shadow line. It's, it's cleaner looking. Yeah. Um, so that will be what it looks like when we're all done. Okay. Okay. All right. These mortar joints um, are actually a little fatter than the mortar joints on the rest of the building. You can see this head joint, how wide it is. It's even wider okay. than my thumb. Right. And these bed joints, too, are also uh, kind of wide. Um, and the color is an exact match to the original. Okay. But because the joints are wider, from the ground, I expect they may appear, appear to be lighter in color. Um, I see. But I don't know yet because the scaffolding is still here. Right. Uh, we're also careful to match the aggregate size of the sand to the original building, not okay. to what was there. Okay. Um, so as the building is repointed in other spots, um, it'll all tie together. So we're trying to match the mortar back to the, the okay. original on the lower part of the building. So in other words, up here, some of it over the years had been patched and etc. Yeah. with different kinds of mortar. Yeah. You went back to the original. Exactly. Got it. Okay. Very good. And it's possible that this mortar is actually original to the bell tower. The aggregate size is a little bit larger. You can yeah. see, see some, uh, I don't want to call them pebbles, but larger aggregate mixed in there. Okay. Um, and then you see it on this lower section here too in spots, although I don't know if you can see any on this facet because this has been repointed. Oh, yeah. This might be original here. So we made the decision to go ahead with the, uh, the composition that's in the lower part of the building so that is, again, as it's, it's repointed and everything's brought back to the, original, the original, it'll all match. Great, okay. So here we are in the bell tower. You can see I uh, had to leave the bell somewhat free so we could still ring it, but they covered up around it here and all the work site here. These columns, well, it looks like about halfway done. The untrained eye. All right, so here you're saying this is different brick. Yeah, that was brick from a repair uh, previous to us. Okay. And then below that, down to about here, uh, and around the corner and on both sides, that was damaged enough that we took it apart and uh, actually pulled the bricks down and rebuilt it. The core was still intact. Okay. And then we also repaired the core, and then we built the rest. Very good. You can see it better from the outside. So you're saying that we have uh, here this lime, this uh, concrete was poured on top of the limestone? Yeah, this is poured concrete and behind yeah. this black tar is limestone. If, if you look from the outside you can see that there's a joint. Oh yeah. There's a joint here, a head joint in the original limestone and right. my guess is that this was poured as an attempt to uh, seal this joint, oh, yeah. which would of course been an open exposed joint on the top. Okay. That's that's a guess. All right. All right, so here we are at the top of the world, overlooking Gloria Cedar. I just got a little tour of the uh, bell tower, some explanations of what's going on. Great view up here. It looks in good shape. There's no active leaking, Brian said, so that's good. Of uh, repairs that we're having to make as we remove the mortar on these bricks, uh, they were so loose that oh, yeah. uh, they just had to come apart. Oh yeah. There so we've been able to pull those apart. You can see the core is still intact. So what we'll do is uh, continue to clean in here, get all the mortar off the bricks, and uh, pull them apart and repoint inside, <coughs> and then rebed, rebuild all the bricks. Okay. Very good. Okay. What's this called here? Well, this is just a floral detail uh, from about here up, and then and then below it is the uh, uh, finial. There's four of these on the on each corner okay. of the bell tower. So we're going to take these off, the entire finial off, okay. and uh, rebuild them, uh, repair them, I should say. Uh, as we take them apart, if we find that they're so far gone that it doesn't make sense to repair them, we'll replace them. 
notice the little floral detail on the top. Oh, nice. Uh, so that'll, that'll, that'll stay. Okay. So here's a panorama shot of the whole countryside. Not something you see every day. In the foreground, the diamond shape shingles are the original, well, not original, but uh, second generation asbestos right. shingles. Okay. And you look at them in the distance, you can see they've been removed. Yep. And then beneath those were another layer of asphalt shingles, a little bit strip and dumpster. And then now on the roof, the black uh, material is ice and water shield, which provides us a, okay. a good watertight cover up. So we get the slate going down. Okay. So that's uh, that's a setup at this point. And with the slate arise, we'll start snapping chalk lines on that black stuff and nailing the slate up. All right. So here I am at the top. This beautiful morning. I wanted to show you all the beautiful mist. Isn't that great? See it coming up from the lake there. And on around. East, or to the other lake, mist in the field. Power. And the great work below. Actually, it looks like the mist is advancing. <laughs> <laughs> 